So if a dude don't lay it down, he automatically becomes incompetent in all other categories of life. No, you're dragging it. I don't. How? I, I mean, because you respect me that. right now. All right. Okay. For, for Wait. Let her. Outside let her of sex it. reasons. Let her Hypothetically, we take that in the bedroom and all the things that you've ever feared and said, if this ever happened, if that ever happened, I would never and this and that. And then now it comes to fruition in the bedroom with a person that you kind of put on high standards for. Like, Rico, you look good. I'm expecting you to whip out a big <laughs> and f me good. I don't expect like anything that. less than that. So if you come in the bedroom and the d isn't big, you don't know what you, you don't know what you're doing. Like, you don't know how to keep it hard. She come like this. You can't you can't you can't please me. You can't give head. You can't do none of those things. When it's over, I'm gonna respect you in that moment because we've been friends so long, and I'm gonna be like, thank you. You know, I'm gonna get some juice, some water, whatever. But are you gonna get the towel for him? Absolutely not. And and I'm out. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. I agree with that. I'm out. But let's just say <laughs> let's just say vice versa. If the sex is good, it might enhance our friendship. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Eight at the Table. Today we have Holiday the Golden Child. Woo, woo, woo. Bad bitch, good credit for real in real life. <laughs> you heard her. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's your score? It's a 767, I think. Yeah, okay, you getting there, okay? Yeah. I got good uh, uh, no credit. Get okay. at it. You know what? Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You know, is it okay for people to go around giving out scores? I just feel like that's a little personal. Do people do that? Well, Bitches, but she put it out there. Bitches is going. I, I'm, I'm known as Holiday the Golden Child. Bad bitch. Good credit. Yeah, I said it. So it'd be kind of weird that if I didn't really have good credit. What if you had like a, a six? No offense. Mm -hmm. What if you had like a 600? You like a bad bitch, bad, great credit. And somebody was like, nigga, you got I mean, a 600. Is, under, that's under <laughs> Who poor. Who gonna know? <laughs> Who, who gonna know? Credit. But it's no difference in bragging about like how many, I think I think the only women that brag about how many men they didn't sleep with is women who haven't had a lot of experience in life. They're like, yeah, well, I've only been with three men. I don't give a fuck. That's true. I definitely don't give it's a fuck. It's the same as me bragging about my credit score. It's like, that's true. Nah, I mean. People can brag on a lot of stuff they don't got no no proof about. You know, oh, I got good pussy. Who can we ask? Everybody <laughs> who hit it. Hello. No, but that's not what you want. <laughs> Why not? Listen, I'm, well, not, everybody? I'm going in for the kill. Any person I've ever fucked, I'm giving my all. So that way, when I'm gone, that memory's still there. That con if I get brought up in any conversation till this day about my box, it's going to be nothing but great news. Oh, that's Fair good. Enough, but I don't need nobody talking about me. So about you talk say, about it. No you keep my way. business to, to, to yourself. To a minimal. I don't care about nobody talking about my sex. I don't yeah, care brag if it was about good. it. I don't care if it was right. Please don't talk about really? it. Really? I don't give a fuck what you say. Let them know my box is hitting, please. Let me know I did a good job. No, be because honest, then, no, when people really brag on your box too much, then they want to try it. Then their friends want to try okay. it. It don't matter. Listen, listen, it don't matter if they brag or they toasted it. They're gonna what? be like, I want to find out for myself. Yeah, like they roasted it. Like oh. they just like they killed that shit. Like you feel me? Like, like do you really want to be the box that nobody's checking for? They checking for all well niggas is I don't checking want for nobody boxes. checking for my box. Listen, we'll be like Finding out one time. Yeah, like bro, you was you might be lying. I like the I like, <laughs> I like, you might be I like, lying, I like, bro. I like the this is why I probably would never fuck Rico, right? Because the, <laughs> mis <laughs> the mystery, the mystery of is it good or not. It's, it's all I need because I'm nervous that if we do do it, I couldn't be a friend after that if you don't fuck me good. I can't even look at you the same oh, way. You're you going to talk I, crazy I, to I, you no, gonna disrespect I just, me? <laughs> I just can't be your homie. Like we, I can't respect you the same way. Like right now, I respect you, right? I Because I, I don't know if what you're saying is valid, right? So it's like I'm just riding off of a hope and a dream. But the, <laughs> but the, moment, but the moment I get in and I find out and now it's over you, and I call Aaron and be like I finally gave Rico some bitch it was garbage it was garbage now every time I see yeah, him call me I don't think Aaron will care every call time me. I see you it's gonna be like yo what's up and that's it that's what I got for you now you'll definitely let me fuck one more so, time so you see nah. you see why people I'm, I'm, the, re I'm the redeemable person I've done that twice. <laughs> I've had some bad dick and I literally had to try it again cause I was mm. like and what happened I'm giving them the uh, you know benefit of the doubt mm -hmm. no it was bad twice 
both times. So, well, it might so, as well be bad. So here's the thing. Either that, time. Here's the thing you guys are saying, and that's what that's the taboo part, right? No one wants to say this, but look how comfortably <laughs> both of these women says they can't respect a man with bad sex. They said it without saying it. I ain't right? saying it. I was about to say, did I say that? He said both of these. See, both of these women said women. if the what sex exactly is trash. Both of these young ladies mm -hmm. said if the sex is trash, then the person is trash. Yes. I feel that's like Amanda, not what I said. Amanda oh, did not say well, The that. respect is gone. Holiday said that, they said the respect. Holiday made that very clear that she could not look at Rico the same no, if he, so, so if in, he in gave other bad words, So in other words, what Holiday is saying, not to speak for you, is saying that I cannot respect Rico anymore because she says, I respect you. Now, yeah. respect yeah. for you. If we go to bed and you're not good, I will no longer respect you. have respect that's for you. Crazy. That's what I said. Think about that for a second. That's what I said. So, so if a dude don't lay it down, he automatically becomes incompetent in all other categories of life. No, you're dragging it. I don't. How? I mean, because you respect me that. right now. All right. Okay. For, for Wait. Let her, outside let her of sex it. reasons. Let it. You see how we can joke about <laughs> about. Sex and if it's great and if it was whack or if it was dry, it's all fun and games. And right all now. this ate at the table but conversation, it, but it's all fun and games and it's cute conversation. But let's just say hypothetically, we take that in the bedroom and all the things that you've ever feared and said, if this ever happened, if that ever happened, I would never and this and that. And then now it comes to fruition in the bedroom with a person that you kind of put on high standards for like Rico you look good I'm expecting you to whip out a big ass cock and fuck me good I don't expect I like anything this. less than that so if you come in the bedroom and the dick isn't big you don't know what you, you don't know what you're doing like, you don't know how to keep it hard she, she come like this. you can't you can't you can't please me you can't give head you can't do none of those things when it's over, I'm going to respect you in that moment because we've been friends so long and I'm going to be like, thank you, you know, I'm going to get some juice, some water, whatever. But Are you going to get the towel for him? Absolutely not. And, and I'm wow. out. I'm not going to lie. I agree with I'm that. I'm out. But let's just, say, <laughs> let's just say vice versa. If the sex is good, it might enhance our friendship. It might really take our friendship to the next level. Because be, I'm already going in this knowing I'm not trying to be with you. So we already have that clear. What so if it's really, really, it really? It doesn't matter. Good. We already went into this. I'm not going like, to the switch, the switch, the switch lane. Imagine if you respect somebody and then they fuck you crazy good. Like I hope you do because now all it's going to make me do <laughs> is really keep having you as my friend. Even if we don't have sex anymore, sometimes you got to get the first fuck out the way and move on. Yeah. So I've had sex with a. I'm just using an example. We have sex and it's amazing. I might, I might really have a different love for you. And every time I see you now, that anxiety of, I want to fuck him, I want to fuck him. I don't want to fuck you anymore. Nah, I'm okay with just that. being around you. I'm okay with just being in your presence and us having it's a not good gonna time. It's not going to happen like that. Amanda, go back to the topic. I was about to say. All right. Okay, so we're going to get into what today's topic is. And, and that's what's the difference between a trick and a giver. But before we get into the topic, we should ask Holiday her oh, we, question. Okay. All right. So we're going to Hi, do Amanda. the... I Can you let that. everybody know that I I I found your lesbianism before you did? Oh, wow, you did. She did not. I remember. Well, she called it out. She called Thank it out, you, Aaron. and I, I said, actually remember that. And I Thank said you. nothing. I no, just, you said no. I told her. You said I don't like girls. No, I said. You know what? Okay. Let me just well, let me not even say what I. Said. And I said yes, you do. You definitely like a munch. Oh wow! <laughs> I said, but you'll figure that out about yourself later. And then and it's like, why would you say that holiday about me? I said, because I just know I'm munchy. No, because I, I know I was testing your knowledge. You wasn't testing shit. I was testing your knowledge. She's and like I never said, I, ne <laughs> I never said I did not like girls. She was today years old when she found out she liked box. She's a liar. I always knew. I knew. <laughs> She's a liar. I knew you liked box. But go ahead. What's your she question? She was just testing me. I wasn't to see testing if I you. was going to catch her? what she was. I never tried her. This I was years in, ago. I went in for certain. And I whispered in her ear one day, her face. and I said, <laughs> "I said you like pussy, but you don't know it yet. But I'm just waiting for the day when you figure it out." And then a year later, she pops up with a girlfriend. Now you eat box, okay? Yeah, but it's still box. She don't. It's not dick. <laughs> it's still box. <laughs> like box now. It might not be. I might not have been. Holiday, your type. Can we get into the ice? All right, go ahead. Portion. I've been waiting this. to get next to you. She's like, on you hiatus from all that, so go ahead. It's been a while, Amanda. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Amanda. Okay, so we're gonna go in with question number one. For your <laughs> Please, I love I'm trying this. to be serious. She's serious. Okay. Too. <laughs> okay, ask the first question. Okay, you can go to dinner with anybody else. 
I mean anybody else. You can go to dinner with anybody. <laughs> I'm like anybody else. She trying to look at. She trying. <laughs> anybody. Anybody, dead or alive, you can go to dinner with. Who would it be? Nicki Minaj. Hmm. What you want to know from her? Um, want to be a sad bitch? She's she's my sad sister. I am done. What was? Bad where bitch. did the tongue come from? She's my she's my sad sister. <laughs> <just> upgraded. <laughs> and I feel like I. When I listen to Nikki's music, I always want to be the fly on the wall when she's writing these bars and she's coming up with these metaphors and she's coming up with the things that she says because it just flows. And so our conversation would more so be, um, where does it all come from? Where's the inspiration? You know, especially being an artist myself, you know, you get you get writer's block and all these things. And I know you pull from experiences in your life. So Nikki would be a person I want to sit down with and kind of pick her brain about why... Who's the haters that you be talking about? Like, what I want to know what she's really experienced in this game, in this industry, that has made her so um, numb. Mm. What is she numb to? She's so numb to what a lot of people would break down to in the public eye, like the haters, the comments, oh, okay, the, okay. the people trying to block a lot of things that she has going on. And then she still just, slander. she just still perseveres <laughs> through all of those things and gives us great music time and time and time and time again. I mean, it's like, damn, at some, what point are you guys going to stop looking for her downfall? It ain't happening. They not. <laughs> Never. You know? <laughs> so I just want from a person who's achieving for the highest of pyramids, I want to know what it feels like to to be on the top. Well, let me tell you this. They hated Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, of course, they're going to hate Nikki. Yeah. Yep. So. And if I could just choose one more person, it would be Tiana Taylor. I love her. Oh, that's a good pick. I think she's dope. I love I her. Be, it would be Tiana Taylor. Pick. Tiana, another, are you yeah, coming on I here? I was quiet. I was like, yeah. I she's like another that. sad. <laughs> I know. Are she's you another sad? I yes. I love her. She is so dope. But yeah. Yeah. I love her too. And I love her family orient mm -hmm. orientation. I love her way of thinking. I also love the fact that she knew when to step back from the music and, and give her all to something else, which is something that I'm going through in my life right now. She does like directing or something yeah. like she's, that. She's got like director of the year from, um, I think, BET. Really? And, um, what did she direct? Um, she directed um, that she's, new movie that And she all was the in. hot music videos that are out right now. Yeah. She's cultivating these new artists. She's getting back to artist development. So when you see the Lola Brooks and the Ice Spice and, and now they have all the stage presence on stage. This is her behind um, Summer Walker giving her stage presence instead of her just standing there holding a mic. Let's give you a couple moves. Let's give you some background dances. Let's make sure the ambiance is right so you don't have to do so much. In front. Let me cater to you and show you artist development, how to really perform on stage. Even if you're not a choreographed dancer. Lola Brooks, she's giving her moves to her dancers instead of one there and just getting crazy, which is, I think, this is what a lot of artists are missing is just artist development. So I think she's found her actual niche in the game instead of being in a space I've seen her in a long time. It's like, why is nobody seeing me? Why is nobody seeing all these great things I'm doing? Like, what do I need to do? Chop my hand off for people to hear me and see me? And, I, and I'm just so happy that she's in a space where everybody's seeing all her great work. She's so dope. Yeah. I think she's definitely it's her a body great. of work. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to say. But the thing is, is it's very hard and it's very unfamiliar to go from the front of the camera to the behind the camera. Oh, yeah. A lot of people don't ever do it, right? Very, very few that can. And so when you can do it, now your whole scope and body of work changes because now they really realize and can appreciate all of like your knowledge in the game or whatever you know um, lane that you're in. Yeah. So it's just gonna add more to her success. I think it's dope. I didn't even know that she was directing stuff. So for a while yeah. now. Yeah. I do remember she when she a retired. Movie. She has a movie out right now in the movie theaters. I didn't yeah. know she directed that movie though. I know oh, she, yeah, she she she's she the baby Spike oh, Lee wow. now. Well, I got to see because a lot of people would just be getting directors and ex executive producers no, she, and just be throwing money no, in. like she's no, been no. doing it for a while. Like, like you can get an a producer, executive producer. Execu yeah, you could get those credits. But, but not director. Directing, you can't get that. Writers and directors, you, the bag you can't yeah. just get that credit. You can get executive producer by just funding the project. That's what I'm right, saying. Yeah. But some people, but I'm saying a lot of people pay. For no, she's putting in the work. Credit. She she is a very creative. Oh, she's, she's a creator. artist. She's like a she, creator. She's she's the person who's like, I I picked this actor for the movie. I'm gonna go s stay at their house for a week so they can get in character. Um, guys, not to interrupt you guys. Okay. Not uh, Aaron's car with Rich Boy on there. <laughs> Wait, that's what was playing. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron is a Southern girl. <laughs> it is a Jeezy station though. <laughs> Southern. No, what's the 
um, the yeah. second question. Yeah. Should, do you guys? Oh go yeah. Away? What's your uh, go to like your just your drink? Your go to drink? I'm a champagne drinker. I don't like hardcore yes, liquor. Cheers. I like Clico. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Clico. I'm not really a Moet or whatever. I mean, if that's all they got. I guess I'll take right. it. But I'm I am a I am a champagne drinker. I definitely prefer Vouve over uh, yeah, Moet. Me also, too. I'm a yeah. I feel like it's classy. I feel like it's sexy. It's always appropriate in any room without making you like an alcoholic. And um, it doesn't creep up on me. I'm always fly when I'm drinking champagne. Like, I feel like the hardcore liquor makes me ghetto. Mm -hmm. Makes me ratchet. And it makes me, yeah, it makes me a demon. (laughs) All of it? Yeah, it makes me a demon. So I I feel like I can control myself because I stopped drinking for a long time because it's either, it's either, I'm filthy drunk, or it's yeah, nothing at all. I remember all. you said I had no balance. Me. It's and hard. So, um, <laughs> I found line. my balance. Yeah, I found my balance with the. I'm gonna do the, it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, the champagne makes me feel sexy. Remember last night when we were out, and I was like, I can't drink too much because I, I can't, I can't balance the line. Like when I go out with my husband, I am going out. First of all, it was I'm going me, home slack It out. was me holding Back. it down because we drank champagne first, and then I got into the hard liquor, and I was like, I shouldn't oh, be doing this, but. Whatever, fuck it. We're we're, we're, we're gonna have a time. We're gonna have a time. <laughs> Yolo. <laughs> I was like, fuck it. Yeah. I saw y'all. I saw y'all having a good time. Well, so. I'm a champagne, and while everybody else is getting hot and sweaty and filthy drunk, I, I'm able to keep my energy. I'm able to wake up in the morning with no hangover. No hangover yeah. And you know, I'm trying to watch my calories. I'm trying to. Amen. Watch my line, you know what I'm saying? Amen. Sure okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I don't do. You don't. Do you like sweet? I don't like sweet. No, I like I like dry. Dry, okay. Yeah, I like dry. And if I'm gonna fuck with a wine, I like um, I like Red um or white. I'm a Sauvignon Blanc girl. Oh, you like white? Okay. Yeah. I'm a bougie black girl. I like I love I love that for me. I come from Long Island, and me and my friends were just talking about this because they're from Long Island too. <laughs> Long Island girls, we have a happy balance. So what is I, it? I don't really know that name because from Long we we didn't come from like a yeah. ghetto. We had we and had got a house. lot of vineyards. Yeah, we had the <laughs> houses, the cars, the backyard, the they dog. They do have the vineyards over there. They do. Yeah, Martha's Vineyard. No, 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 no. no. no, no but they Martha's Vineyard, the um, <laughs> like wine, wine, like winery. The wine, they got a lot of wineries. Yeah, they have Wait, a lot is it Martha's of... Vineyard a winery? No, no, no. Yeah. That's a a, a place. There is, there it's is, in Massachusetts. There might be one over it's there. a Martha's Vineyard, and people go there for wine tasting. I'm not in crazy. Long in Long Island, in Long Island, Island. Island there's a Martha's oh, Vineyard. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, there is. Yeah, yes. there's a Martha's. Oh, there's a wine oh I called Martha's. Okay. Over I'm glad there. you did that because I was about to be like, Ooh. I could not confirm because I don't. I didn't no, know. There is a there is a winery in Long Island called Martha's, but I'm talking about. I know there's a bunch of winery stuff in Long Island. I yeah. actually saw it on TikTok. And there's a whole bunch of them. Out there there's a whole really bunch. Fun. Listen, yeah. being in the Hamptons these last cu- last couple of days it made me feel like I'm not living my best life. I'm, I'm, I'm I think literally the Hamptons sit- will make you feel like that. I'm sitting, <laughs> I'm sitting at restaurants, <laughs> literally feeling like I'm in Greece. Yeah, it's so expensive over there, though. Mm. I want yo. It, it's like that's why we get a sponsor for the incidentals. Nah, Hello. Yo. Last time I was in the Hamptons last summer, I was like, yo, let me just get something to eat with the kids, just on some real normal human being shit. <laughs> Four fifty or something like that. Well, we got snacks. I posted on my story. It was seven hundred and twenty five dollars for snacks. That's crazy. Okay, so, so, so we're gonna last go. one, Rico. Last question, Reeks. Reeks. I like. I oh, no, that, that, was, that every what? time. You know what that name? That's Reek from oh, Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. You don't want to be that guy. You don't. Oh, no, you, you, you want to be. You want to be either Rico? Jon Snow or Lannister. What's the guy, Lannister? Lannister. Uh, John. First of all, my name Reese. for the Snow summer and, is uh, Rico. Lannister. Don't that used to be able to beat everybody? Yeah. Jamie? Rick. Jamie. Jamie. Jamie Lannister. There's only two oh. names you want. Yeah. You do not want to be Reek. I'm Italian this summer. I don't know the little short dude. I liked him. I didn't. Yeah, he's, Tyrion. Tyrion, Tyrion, like yeah. Tyrion. How many horses have you been with? 500, 5,000? Just quick comment. Ten. Y'all season two is not going <laughs> to come as quickly as you guys think. They're on a strike. Um, uh, we know Amanda. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, really? Yeah, the writer's strike. Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. So the last question that we have for you is, um, if you can have sex with anybody, a sexual encounter, intimate moment, it's your last 24 hours on earth. You can pick sex with anyone, guy or girl. Who would it be? Ooh, I hope and it I, can't be your current relationship. Cute little addition. I hope I can't. I would, don't regret it if Is it, it ever a cute happened. Cute addition, right? <laughs> well, because I know the you know seventy percent lesbian. I hope it. I know. I don't regret it if it ever happened because it's not impossible. But it would be Drake. I what, just want to. Why did I you... think about fucking Drake today? Yeah. I literally, literally. Yeah, Drake. Talk about a thought that has never crossed my and mind. I heard he liked that. <laughs> I heard that he likes some, 
just, I mean, no offense to him. I just want. I, I, He's I, a handsome you know, guy. And, and, and you know? the reason of me sleeping with him is because um, I'm a <laughs> mental person. This is my reasoning for Drake because I want to get in his head. I want us after we have sex for him to talk to me for long hours about his dreams and aspirations and the things he hasn't accomplished yet that he wants to. Um, That's what your I, dinner should have been love, with. And I would love to be in a writing session, like when he's in the room and he got his writers there and he's coming up with music. The whole, the whole process. I want to be a part of the whole. The, yeah, we, we, we ain't I talking about all of that. Brain. We ain't talking about all of that. Yeah, we ain't talking about. See, so I was about I to wanna say, wanna experience, I want to switch your dinner answer. Yeah. I want to like, <laughs> no, 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 because I want to fuck Drake. I just want. I want him inside of me. I want to experience the lover boy. Yeah. All right. No. This is, I was listening to Drake in my car. You know, preparing myself for the end of the month. And for the end of the month, his concert, his concert. Mm -hmm. That's that's oh, what here? I'm talking about. Yes. Oh, cool. So I I don't know. It was something that I heard in his lyrics that I was just like, Drake is one of those like he's really fine. But I'm like, he could also be a cornball. He is probably. And I love cornball. But balls. then I was just like. Because cornballs eat good pussy. I love cornballs. That is exactly what I was I thinking. Love, I was just like, I but is he going ass. to be so much so of a cornball that I would not let him Turn fuck on. me? Well, I heard from a friend from a friend from well, you a might friend like girls. that he is corny. And he's a nerd. And he's very shy. And he's very socially awkward. Um, but I don't give a fuck about none of that. Because it's okay. <laughs> I'll do all the talking for you. <laughs> Yeah, I just want him inside of me. I want to experience the love of boy and Drake. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> well, love of boy inside I ain't of mad me. I'm mad at it. I try yeah. it too. Yeah, and I'll definitely get pregnant. Sure. Why not? Let's do it. I feel you. I, well, no, I don't feel you actually. But yeah, like, I heard <laughs> he, got, he likes them thick and brown skin and pretty. <laughs> Hi, Drake. Well, his baby mother is not none of that. I was about to say. No, she was a casualty of yeah. war. That was yeah. That was it. She was a casualty. Was it meant to happen? Yeah. Thank you, Aaron. Eight at the table today. We are going. Well, not well. Everyone is gonna get some advice. If you ever been confused, if you are a trick there or a trick, or if you are just a generous person. So we're gonna debunk and just let people know the difference, so you don't have to feel confused at all about it. Rico, what are you? I am a selective giver. You're not a trick. Fuck no. I'm a selective giver. Because like, I'm selective because I'm willing to give the shirt off my back. But before I even do that, I got to feel either... Like you would do the same for me. You would... Yeah, or to some capacity. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has to be shown. Like the person is deserving. Um. Yeah, or like, not just deserving. Because I think a lot of people do deserve... You know, just the kindness. Like, but like, but like, it gotta be like, I don't like, I don't like the non reciprocity. I don't know if that's really a word. I just try to put it together. So, like, if I'm gonna go all the way with you, no matter what it is, whether you be a friend, business, my girlfriend, whatever, I just gotta feel like you're gonna do the same. So, I'm a selective giver, but I'm the, I'm not no trick. Like, that's, that's not even, a, look, look at his belt, by the way. Told you. We, we need to see Maybe he's from Jersey also. Who is that? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We was talking about the BB belts. Who is that? What's going on, bro? Who <laughs> Who's that? Santa Claus. What up, bro? <laughs> Wait, oh, so... Oh, that's my baby daddy. Hi, Papa. So what are, what are you What are you holiday? She is a trick. Oh, Boy. hi. My holiday. baby father walked in. He know I'm real generous. <laughs> So All right are, now. Are you is about to your answer or no? <laughs> no, I'm a giver. I, I like to see people happy. I like to, I'm, I'm definitely a giver. I'm not a trick. That's not what a trick was saying. It's not tricking if you got it. So maybe when I touch this other tax bracket, I might become a trick. But isn't that the you know? whole point of a trick? Because you do got Cause it? Because you do got it. So that's why I said I'm not a trick because I need all my coins. You're a trick in practice. <laughs> but but I'm, definitely a, I'm definitely a giver. Like, if if I like somebody and I feel like they're making me feel good before they even buy me anything or do anything, I guess that would be deserving of me gifting them. I could have just... It could be Valentine's Day and it's t I just met you a week ago and Valentine's Day happens to fall on... We just met. I'm going to buy you a gift property. And I'm not going to buy you no whack shit. I'm going to buy you shit that I like. Um, wait. wait, can I ask you a question? Oh, how much are you gonna spend? That's why I just said like I'm. I it's no price because I'm gonna I'm going to buy within the range of what I like. What I like. So I like I like nice things. I'm I'm a sentimental person and I'm also a value person. So it would be a little bit of both. I'm gonna buy you something that I think that you would appreciate. I'm gonna buy you something that I think you would like. 
but I'm also going to buy something within the means of your taste and mine. Like, I'm not going to buy you a Walmart wa wallet when I know I like Louis and Gucci. I'm are, you, are you scared that that may come off as love bombing when you do stuff like that? No, as long as you early? can keep it up. I wouldn't start so doing something like time. Yeah, that's just, like that's like meeting a, meeting a guy, Harbor. which I've done before. <laughs> I've gave false representation, like you know, dated a guy, gave him the amazing head every day. I'm talking about the door on my knees, and then when he became mine, you might not get that every day. That's love. That's sex bombing.